Okay, so now I'm joined by Karine, one of the top fighting game players from France. How's it going? Uh, I'm fine. Well, I lost a nice place of my pool at oh. Stunfest, so I didn't make it out. Okay. You're still playing uh, Chun-Li, is that correct? Yes, Okay. And she's strong in this game. Yeah, a lot, of, happy. a lot of people are saying that she's the strongest character in the game at the moment. Would you, would you agree with that? The strongest? I don't think so. And uh, there's still nobody playing Chun Li uh, that won a major That's tournament. True. That's very true. So I want to see if she's really the strongest. Then we we should see uh, maybe a top Japanese player like Go Ichi or Nuki. Yeah, yeah, they. Yeah, uh, but they didn't win no, yet. Didn't, so didn't, yeah, I, don't I don't know. Someone's got to prove that concept. Like everybody's saying that Chun Li's like amazing, but until someone proves it then it's kind of still on the table a little bit okay can you um, tell me a little bit how about how you first got into um, Street Fighter well actually uh, when I played that first Street Fighter 5 I was not really excited because it was really really strange for me okay. to begin with yeah. because everything changed and uh, Street Fighter 5 is my first 2D game Oh really? I, yes. I know, I know uh, you're more I'm famous than some of the other games. Yeah. I only yeah. used to play uh, Soul Calibur, Dead or Alive, so 3D games. Okay. And uh, to change on Street Fighter V it was really hard at first. I didn't understand the game, but now that I get it better, I really have a lot of fun playing it. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I mean, what were the, who were the two players that you um, lost to in the tournament? What characters did they play? I played a player that <laughs> beat me at... Uh, my pool in the Red Bull Kumite, which name is uh, Dudu from Nantes, okay. uh, another city in France. And he played Dalsim. Oh, Dalsim. I yeah. hate Dalsim. <laughs> I hate him so much. And I didn't have any plan, game plan against him yet. So now I train against him again yes. to, okay. to know the character better. So I hope to not lose it again against the Dalsim player. Do you and think that Dalsim is a tough matchup for Chun-Li? I think it's really hard for her, okay. but maybe it's because I just don't know yet how to play her uh, yeah. with, against him. It's got like, Dalsim's kind of like a, a less common character, like it demands quite a high bit of execution, I guess, so you don't see as many Dalsim players, so, yeah. yeah. I don't see that many Dalsim players, and uh, I don't know, when I ask advice for Chun-Li against him, they're like, oh, Dalsim is a hard match for Chun-Li, and we don't know, we don't have uh, experience against him, but I found some solutions there on training mode. Okay, we'll okay. see what happens next. Next time, next time. Because if, if he's beaten you twice now in tournament, you like it's got to be third yeah. time lucky, hasn't it? You can't. It's funny. It's destiny, you know. I lost in final losers of my pool at Red Bull Committee. Yeah. Then at Stunfest with 50, 512 yeah. players here, yeah. it was my first match. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> yes. It was my somebody, last match. Somebody's, somebody's rigging the brackets. They can't, they can't, be, it can't be like that. You need, you need to speak to the tournament organizers. There's something going on here. I, I, don't, I don't believe it could happen twice. Yeah. Well, who, who was the um, other character that you lost to? Uh, Nash. Nash uh, okay. Mikadi. But he's a very strong uh, Mortal Kombat player. Mm -hmm. One of the top players here. And uh, he plays Nash really well too. He's really invested in, in Street Fighter V. Do you think Nash Chun Li is fairly even? or? I think I have some troubles with the teleportation. Okay, uh, with yeah. Um, yeah, the V trigger. Yeah, but both Dalsim and Nash uh, the can teleport, teleport, isn't it? Teleport, yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Tele teleport is a, is a little yeah, bit of a. Teleport. Maybe it's a bit. It's, it's hard for Chun Li to handle teleporters. Maybe that's it. Um, Nash and Nash and Dalsim both teleport. But actually, I think when uh, we can't see the V trigger, we can always do something okay. right. But I still don't have the reflex to do it. Yeah. Uh, it's all my fault. Okay. And. Um, just some tricky moments where Nash is doing a fireball, then yes. at the right time he teleports behind me. Uh, I just uh, don't know. Yeah. You where, kind of like when side. he teleports, you have to throw out a button to kind of like you know react to it before yeah. you, which side it goes. Like throw out a jab or something like that. But when they do it, at kind of like times you're not expecting, it can really catch you off guard. But I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. Um, so for the tournament so far, what would you say has been the most hype moment of Stunfest so far? Uh, the most hype moment. A stuff fest? I don't know. I love seeing Goichi playing. So. Okay. Yeah. Yes. More, more than Nuki. More than Nuki. You prefer Goichi's yeah. Gachani to Nuki? Ah. Huh? Uh, yeah. I used to, to love watching Nuki at Street Fighter 4, mm -hmm. but now I um, really like the uh, the way Goichi plays with Chun Li. It's really offensive. 
and uh, I, it's my style of playing actually. Okay. So okay. I'm really inspired by you, him. Yeah, you take inspiration from the way he plays more than yeah. kind of like Nuki, I guess. Yeah. yeah. When I can't remember when because those two did play in the tournament. Uh, who won? Do you remember? When? Uh, Goichi and Nuki, I think, played each other in the tournament. Oh, I didn't see that much. Okay. Yeah, but the most exciting moment at the tournament was in. Uh, when Team Red Bull won. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 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 So Fon Chan and Luffy. I, yeah. I like watching team tournament because there's so much hype. Yeah. And it they, was. They, they kind of did it a different way because obviously it was like uh, both, all four players play against each other. Kind of like it'll be like player one and player two, then player three yeah. and player four. So not like um, team tournaments are done around the world where the same player stays on and then like the other player might not even get to play. So I like the way that's done here. I think it's a more interesting way of doing it. Yes, yeah. that's true. Uh, what's the next uh, Capcom Pro Tour event we'll be seeing you at? I still don't know. Um, I am not going to Dreamhack, I think, because maybe I go to E3 and it's the same way. Yeah, yeah. That's mm. why I didn't go to Dreamhack last year, because I went to E3, so I wasn't able to make it, so I know what you mean. Yeah. So I think maybe there's a tournament in uh, Spain, uh, Sonic Boom. And yes, I... Sonic Boom Summer Edition, yes, yeah. in Madrid, I think. Yeah. So maybe I, I will go there, yes. Maybe. Will you come over to the UK for um, Versus Fighting or EGX? Uh, well, I just don't know the date. Uh, okay, I think EGX is in September and Versus Fighting is in oh, August sometime. Is it yeah. September? Yeah. 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 yeah, I'd love to go then. I, I have to reserve on my calendar for... No, I'm sure I'm sure you're busy with uh, all kinds of like uh, fighting game projects and like gaming stuff. But... I have a lot of gaming events in France, like every weekend I have no, Even. yeah, a busy schedule, I'm sure. So, but I want to give more importance to tournaments. Yeah, well, it'll be great to see you at EGX if you can make the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's been a long time I didn't go to UK, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, who would you say are the top five French players in Street Fighter Five at the moment? Oh, uh, definitely Luffy. Luffy. Yes. Valmaster. Okay. Um, Alun. Alun. Um, Maybe yeah. like Will Tupac. Tupac, or? Tupac, yes. Okay. And. Kungster. Okay, yeah. yeah. did win um, Frog Bite, didn't he? So, like, uh, he has won a CPT event this year. Yeah, so I think those five are really high level. And yeah. uh, I think it's so hard just to, to achieve this kind of level for the moment. Yeah. Because I know Kungster and Tupac, for example, uh, they, they are really uh, invested in in the game. They have a multi-gaming house so that they can invite players to, oh, wow, really? to play with them in a, in a nice place. That's kind of like the EG house in uh, the States, isn't it? Where like uh, the EG guys like uh, Justin Wong and those guys like invite players around to play with them. So yeah, maybe, that's kind of cool that yeah. it's happened in France as well. They don't live there, but they kind of organize stations there offline uh, to invite people and play. Or have they, they invited you to play there? Ah, they I'm not uh, available on the weekend, so uh, we didn't, I didn't get the chance so, to so play would, with they them. they wouldn't even think to send you an invitation. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I invite them to play at my home, because okay. I can have five setups at home. Oh wow, that's a lot so, of setups at home. So, I, I, can, yeah. I can fit two setups in my house, that's it. So yeah, yeah. you're definitely beating me in terms of the space in the house. But Valmasa, Luffy and events come often at my place to play. Okay. And the uh, Tupac came uh, last time, so yeah. That's cool. I organize. It's cool oh, to see that the great. French community does like you know just go and like hang out with each other and sort of like help each other level up, I guess, isn't it? So that's cool. Yeah, that's why I think some players can be very strong, really fast, like Luffy, you know, uh, compared to your Red Bull Kumite. Now he's like this. Oh my God! Like he uh, went from yeah. Red Bull Kumite to Kaku Top. What it's a transformation! So yeah, it's a difference. Yeah. And because he plays every day a lot, a lot, he really dedicated to that. It's his main job. He I, I, have I, anything else. I heard he's taken a year off of his yes. job just so that he can dedicate his time to Street Fighter V and put like a dominant claim on this year. Yeah, so. And he's working really hard and uh, he really lives close to Valmaster and me, so we organize sessions. Uh, he plays more Valmaster and uh, sometimes I invite them when I have time. But uh, he has really good conditions, I think, to, to improve, yeah. I remember I played you on stage at, uh, what was it? Uh, Paris Games Week oh last God. year before oh, you. Oh, that was so different. <laughs> when oh. you had it, you hadn't even barely played the game. It's like oh, I'll just make it. I'll just do all my cool stuff that I know about and I beat you. So now I suspect yeah. if we played now, you will probably beat me. I think so. I think so. <laughs> yeah. No doubt about that one. <laughs> okay, so 
Stunfest, we've actually ended up with a top eight that's all Asian players. So Europe has failed. I'm so sad. Failed to defend its territory. What do you think Europe as a whole needs to do to sort of like get a top eight finish at a tournament like this? I mean, wh wh why, why have the Asian players come over and just beaten us all? Actually, uh, I really trust that the uh, European, European players and especially French players could do it. And uh, it's really hard in a Stunfest tournament, like, we have eight balls of 64 players. Yes, yeah. With more than 10 Japanese players. Yeah. And all the European. There's so many killers in every single pool, isn't there? So. It's, yeah, it's so I good. I missed the Crimson and Pax, so just one game away from making top eight, but we didn't manage to put it up. Before, that, so. I think uh, it's really hard, but if we play, we're really close to make it out of to top 16. But maybe I don't know what what change uh, we should do. Maybe we could we should be organizing those offline sessions to more people. Okay. You know, yeah. Luffy always always plays against the same players that he, that are his friends. Yes. And yes. near. I was speaking. Him. I was speaking to MBR earlier, and he said that Europe needs to come together more often That's to play why, each other. Yes. yes. I think I think that yeah, Luffy is very really used to play to some characters because his best friends of the game yeah. plays this characters, and uh, need we people. need to have more people that has his lover yes. to play different characters. So he has to help other people to be to get better too. We just need to get like uh, hire out a plane and just all go over to Japan, like all the best European players, and just train for like two months or something like that, and then yeah. Dreamhack. And Dreamhack will be able to defend that, yeah. I reckon. I think sometimes the players in France are like debating which which one is the best in France, and I'm like, ah, we don't care. We don't have to care about this. We want to get who's better. Who's the best in the world? Yes. Event. Who is the best in France? We don't care. We just have to gather yeah. and to think in the in our mind. We have to crush on everybody in the world and make France top tier. Okay. <laughs> and UK as well, I think. Yeah, just make no, Europe. No, France. Ah. That's it. <laughs> Last time, what was it? The Kaku top term um, was it? Uh, UK versus France in Street Fighter Four. We yeah. won. You UK won. Thanks to Hurricane. Shout out to Hurricane for winning that for us. Yeah, then Luffy won. He did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, won, he won at Kaku Top this year. But it wasn't UK versus France. It was all of Europe. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, out of the remaining characters who are left to come in the game, so we've still got Jury, Balrog, Ibuki, and who's the other one? Oh, Yurian. Who are you most looking forward to? Uh, Jury. 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 I really love this character in Street Fighter 4. I think she's very really stylish. Mm -hmm. It's the different uh, gameplay for, compared to other characters, and she's really interesting. And I can't wait to see her look. Oh, I've yeah. seen the I've seen the new outfit. Oh come on! <laughs> show us. I I don't think you'll be disappointed. Put it that way. Yeah, yeah. So you'll you'll see you'll see soon enough. That's all I can say. Yeah. yeah. So okay. yeah, wait for her, and hopefully there's Sakura coming too. So that would be your top pick for the characters who haven't been announced for Street Fighter Five. You want Sakura to come back? Yes. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Thanks very much for talking to me today and enjoy the rest of Stunfest. Thank you. Take it easy, guys.